a drama game called the One Word Whittle. Let me explain how the drama game One Word Whittle works. For One Word Whittle, you need to have a whole conversation using one word. So, you do it with a partner or in a group of three and each of you chooses your own word. So, I am going to use the word pancake. And I am going to use the word car engine. So I'm going to make up a whole conversation. We're going to speak to each other, changing our tone and changing our facial expressions and changing our actions to try and drive what looks like an entire conversation with the beginning of a conversation, the middle or the conflict in the conversation and the end, which is the resolution of the conversation. So the conversation has to have three parts, the beginning, so the meeting, the conflict, in the middle and then the end which is the resolution okay and that is what we have to have but we are only allowed to use our one word let's see how our one word whistle conversation will go using pancake and car engine pancake car engine pancake car engine pancake um, car engine. Uh, pancake. Uh, car engine. Pancake. <laughs> car engine. Pancake. Car engine. Pancake. Car engine. Pancake, car engine, pancake, car engine, car engine, car engine, car engine. There we are. I had a conversation, a one word whittle with someone. And the story arc went that we met, we hadn't seen each other in a long time. All right. Then it was the catch up of. How are you going? What have you been up to? And then it was the, oh, is that all you're doing with your life? Yeah, I never thought you'd amount to much. And then it was the, whoa, what are you talking about? God, I always hated you at school. And then it was the, oh, look, I'm sorry. Okay, look, sorry. It's just really nice to see you. So there we are. That was my one word whistle. So that is how you play it. You can do it in a two or a three, and you each need to pick one word. Okay, so it's about being very reactive. Obviously, you have no idea what your partner is trying to say to you, but by watching them to see their facial expressions and their actions and by listening to their tone of voice, you should be able to get some sort of idea of the emotion that they're trying to put across. So even though you might not know exactly what they're saying, you can react to them in an appropriate way. After you've done the one word whittle, you can have a talk afterwards with your partner about what kind of story you thought maybe you were telling with your one word whittle. It might be totally different, who knows? But as long as you're feeling like you sort of had the same emotions, that's the main point of the game, one word whittle. Enjoy.